Hi everybody, I wanted to make a very quick video about giving things a go, even if you don't think you're any good at it. Uh, I just made another longer video about this and then the signal went a few seconds into the video and then the whole thing was out of sync, so I looked like that I was getting dubbed over through the whole video. So I was talking and, and my mouth wasn't matching what I was saying at all and I just got so wound up with it and thought, yeah, let's make, just make another very quick video and make it a bit shorter. So, um, yeah, basically, I just wanted to say about going out and giving things a go. Um, you don't have to be brilliant at something. You don't even have to be competent at something to give it a go and to enjoy it. And I say this because I, you know, I see a lot of people who will say things like, oh, no, I can't do, I won't do that because I'm no good at it. Or, you know, things like playing pool or going swimming or things like that. It can be anything and, you know, something you do in public or something you do privately. But people have this. We have this innate fear about, oh, I'm no good. Therefore, I can't. There's no point me doing that. It's like things are only of value if we're perfect at them or if we have amazing results. And the thing is, we we get better and better at something by doing it. That's how we get confident. And even if we don't get any good at it, it doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying it and you're getting something out of it. And my little story that kind of inspired this video today was to do with gardening. Because I'm somebody who is completely alien to gardening. I'm not green fingered. I've probably said a hundred times in my life that I'm not a gardening person. I have no confidence with gardening. You know, I don't remember ever doing the basics like, you know, digging up a little plant in one of those little pot things and then just like uprooting it and then planting it into some compost. I've never done it, never been confident with it. Probably did it as a kid, but I don't remember. So, um, yeah, and basically um, in my house, at the back of my house, there's a backyard and it was an overgrown mess for years, absolute overgrown jungle full of weeds, overgrown bushes, an overgrown hedge and all these plants and just dead things and these weird green sheds down the side that, that had never been used. It was just full of plants and just full of, it was like something from Day of the Triffids, honestly, it was just insane. And because I had no confidence with you know, I've never even trimmed things back. I've never even really pulled up weeds. I think once in my life I've pulled up weeds. So it's not something I ever, you know, had any experience with. And so what happened recently was that the landlady came and got the back garden sorted. She got it completely gutted and it looks amazing. So she said, you know, do you need any of those sheds do you use any of it and I said no I really don't and she said well we're going to give it a complete makeover and I said yep yeah, that's great whatever's easier to maintain I said because I'm not a gardening person I've ended up you know paying for a gardener to come out and trim the whole thing because I just don't have the confidence to go out and trim and do things like that because I wouldn't think I was doing a good job and so basically that jungle out the back has been completely revamped so now it's all paving and gravel and it's a massive space because those big those little sheds have been pulled up and it's just a huge space compared to what it was and so I looked at it with new eyes and thought wow that's a perfect space to get some big plant pots maybe I can find some you know plants that are really easy to maintain like some little palm trees or something stuff that me and Ellie can go out there and water and maybe I can get a little table and chairs out there and um, maybe it can even be a little workspace, you know, a place to go out and work on my laptop when the weather gets nice. So because of the circumstances, I looked at things differently and started to have little ideas that about the garden, whereas I've never had any thoughts about gardening. And I thought, oh, this is new. This is weird. And then what happened was because my mum and my sister came to visit for my daughter's birthday, they contributed some plants and some lovely big ceramic plant pots that were going spare and my mum planted some stuff for me to grow and she bought me a trowel and a big bag of compost and some little geraniums and it was brilliant because I got some basic information off my mum I was like right how do you do this she's written some instructions down for me that I've put on the fridge that's how little I know about gardening 
and she's giving me instructions for everything and then um, I picked up my daughter from school and it was a beautiful day it's the hottest day today that it's been all year it was about 22 degrees and it was just gorgeous so I said to Ellie oh we could have a go at planting a couple of little geraniums we could have a go at doing it because it's a lovely day and garden has got loads of space in it now and what happened was I went from absolutely having no experience and knowing nothing and having no confidence to basically um, we repotted, you know, replanted a whole load of geraniums, watered all the plants that were out there, moved things around, swept up and basically started to get some confidence that we could give this a go and that it's fun to do and it's relaxing and it doesn't have to be perfect. And if things go wrong, they go wrong, but it's not the end of the world. You know, and I texted my mum and got some advice, you know, can I do this this way? And I'm having trouble getting the roots up I'm, and how do I do this? And am I, am I planting these plants deep enough? And how often do I water them? And all this kind of thing. And, and I phoned my mum as well and asked some questions. And then an hour and a half later, you know, we felt we'd had a great, great time. We'd had real fun just giving it a go. And I realised, you know, my lesson for the day is that you really don't have to be good at something. You don't have to be confident to just give it a go and get stuck into the process and enjoy it and think, oh, OK, well, I might be messing this up, but I'm probably doing OK and I'll be more confident next time. And, you know, we got lots of sunshine. We had a lovely time. We did something different. We put some music on out there on my phone and we just it felt like a proper summer's afternoon having fun together, mother and daughter. And it was just lovely. And I actually started to get the gardening bug, which I've never had. So when I was on the phone to my mum, I said, I said, I can see why people do this now. I can see why people really get into this. And she was like, yep, a lot of people are very, very into their gardening. And I said, yep, I said, I've always understood that, but I've never felt it myself. But I understand it now. So there you go. Give things a go, even if you think you're rubbish, because you never know. It might lead to your next big passion, your next hobby. Uh, you know, another thing is swimming. I'm not a very confident swimmer. I'm not a strong swimmer. And so I procrastinate about going swimming. But when I do go swimming, I have such an amazing time. I enjoy it. It's good for my joints, good for my hips. You know, it's a good uh, sort of weight bearing exercise. And it's just something about being in the water. It's relaxing. I feel very serene. I feel relaxed. I feel don't feel particularly self-conscious in a, in, a, in a swimming costume, which surprised me. I feel OK, you know. And actually, the last time I went swimming, I swam more than I've ever swam. And I was gobsmacked because I thought with the fatigue I'd been suffering, I thought, you know, I wouldn't be able to swim very far. But actually, I was able to swim a length of the pool for the first time in my adult life. Honestly, for the first time. And it felt really accomplished. I felt stronger in my legs and a bit stronger in my arms. And it just felt good. So just give things a go, people, because you never know what it's going to lead to. It might give you a fantastic hobby. So if you've liked this, please leave a like, please subscribe. Keep watching for more inspiring videos. Cheers, guys.